Hey, this is Melinda from Grassroots Internet Strategy and in this video today we're going to look at setting up goals in your Google Analytics account. So the first thing you need to do is log into your account and this is the screen that you'll see. So go over here on the right hand side, see where it says edit there, click to edit. And you'll see at the top there's your profile information and underneath that there's a section for setting up goals. So I've got some goals set up already, but you wouldn't, so you'll just click here to add goal. Now there's three different types of goal you can set up. Their URL destination, time on site, and pages per visit. As an example, URL destination might be um, the URL of a thank you page that people are directed to once they've signed up for your newsletter. Um, to track it easily as a goal in Google Analytics, the thank you page needs to be on the same domain as your website. So for example, if it's on MailChimp or a different kind of service, it's, it actually can't track it easily with this kind of goal. Um, but let's just assume people are directed to a thank you page of your website. So you would select the URL destination goal and then follow the instructions there. So add in the end of the URL as it says and save the goal. So basically the goal tracking works in that people don't see that page unless they complete your sign up process. So that's how Google knows they've actually completed the sign up process because they've seen that page. That's an example of a URL destination. Another type of goal is time on site. So if you have a blog and you're spending a lot of time making all your precious content, you obviously want people to spend time reading it. So maybe you find the average time um, is about a minute and a half, you might set a goal and say, I want to track how many people spend longer than that. So you need to define the, the time based on something that you're aiming for and then just follow Google steps. You time on site greater than, you can go less than, etc. And then click to save goal. The other kind of goal is pages per visit. So similarly, you spend a lot of time creating your content and you want to see how well it's performing. You know, are people are clicking on links in your navigation and in your content to read more than the page they came in on. So that's what the pages per visit goal is. And basically, give it a name up here when you set it up. Name it as clearly as you can because if you set up a lot of different goals, you want to straight away know what each goal means. Um, so that's the screen where you set them up and then once they're set up, go back to analytics settings up the top there and go through to view report and you'll see goals is actually down on the bottom of your dashboard. So there's your goals overview and you can view the report. So this is for my tennis blog where as I mentioned, a lot of people were spending just a minute and a half on the blog. I have a lot of quite short articles, so I just wanted to track how many people spend more than two minutes. Um, and similarly, I have a, a conversion, that's the URL destination, so I have a page where I encourage people to sponsor me, and I just wanted to see how many people were viewing that page. So that's where you actually see the goals, but this is the gold. You can actually track the traffic sources and how, how people are finding you and see which traffic sources convert the best and achieve you the most goals. So click on traffic sources up there and just view the full report and there you'll see your list. You can pull it down if you want to to see them all. That's all the different sources of traffic and, and how people are finding your website. So see here, goal set one, click through to that. And this was my goal, time on site greater than two minutes. So you can see the conversion rate. So the highest conversion rate, that's actually another blog that's got a link to me. That blog traffic that comes in there converts really well in terms of spending more than two minutes reading my website. Um, similarly down here, people that come in from Facebook, a good conversion rate and also Google organic traffic. This is particularly useful if, for example, you're paying to be listed in an online directory. You can then see how much referral traffic you're getting from that website and more importantly, how many goal conversions you're actually getting from that traffic source and that will help you evaluate if it's a really good way to spend your precious marketing budget. So, all right, enjoy your Google Analytics goals.